Hey everybody, welcome to the presentation. Uh, my name is Trevor and tonight we're covering WordPress website setup. Um, in addition to choosing a niche, a domain name, and a hosting provider when setting up a WordPress website, okay? Now this comes as the third installment on our, our Google AdSense training that we're doing. And, and if you've seen those, those two prerequisites, and, and you see this now, this is gonna start teaching us more of the hands-on nuts and bolts of how to start one of these websites. We've been talking about this AdSense system the last few weeks where you can basically post ads on your website that if clicked on, you get paid. Um, you're not selling a product directly, you're just simply creating an informational site with uh, Google ads that you get paid per click. It's not paid per click and buy, but it's paid per click. So you don't even have to have your customers or your or your people that are on your website buy anything. They just need to click the ads. That's the, that's the exciting part about doing a website like this. Um, so I won't recap AdSense too much. If you haven't seen those, go ahead and check them out. Uh, we're going to move forward with showing you guys how to actually get one of these websites off the ground. Okay? All right, let's do it. Okay, so here's our game plan. I want you guys to see the big picture real quick. We're gonna use an informational website. So if you have an e-commerce website with a shopping cart, if you have a Volusion website, we're not gonna use these ads, these AdSense ads on your site. Uh, we would prefer to use them on a totally separate website, a blog of some sort, okay? So it says we're going to use an informational website to sell advertising or post links to make money online, here's how it happens. Three things we've gotta do, okay? Number one, we need to choose a niche or a micro niche. And I'll explain what that means here in just a second. Number two, we need to set up our WordPress via some type of hosting provider. I'm gonna make a pretty strong recommend, recommendation tonight um, on who you should use as a hosting provider. It's the same company I've used for probably the past uh, uh, eight years, eight, nine years. So, I, and I've loved them. So I'll recommend them to you guys. You guys are welcome to use them. And then number three, we need to choose a domain name for the website. And that, that kind of goes with number two. You'll be choosing your domain at the same time you set up with your hosting provider. Okay. And then later, we won't get to this now, but just so you can see the big picture later on, um, we're going to do some design work on the site. Once the WordPress engine is all set up. Two, we're going to teach you how to add content and start posting on the site. And then three, the best part of all, and the whole reason why we do this, we'll teach you how to add your Google AdSense and, and other types of affiliate ads so you can actually monetize this whole system. Remember guys, and I don't have the statistic, I know I've quoted it to you guys before, um, but the exciting thing about this is the vast majority of people who are online using Google, using the internet, they're people that are searching for information. They're not necessarily people that are looking to buy a product. Although there's a lot of people out there buying products, the vast majority of internet searches are for information. And if you can have a site that's dedicated to providing really good information, you're gonna get a lot of traffic and there's gonna be a lot of opportunity to make money off of these AdSense ads or off of affiliate links, okay? All right, so. Let's cover number one for just a second. Somebody here, what, tell me who's here live with me. There's, uh, let me check how many of you who's here right now. There's about 30 of us, 33 right now. Um, somebody tell me what's a niche real quick. When I say we need to choose a niche before we can do any of this at all, what's, what's a niche? Okay, so let me read some of these responses. So it's a it's a topic. I would I would agree. Cindy says it's a topic. It's I like that, Alan. It's an area of expertise. It's a it's a specific subject. It's it's what your theme is on. You can kind of see by the picture. It's something that appeals to just a certain group of people, right? Um, you want your website, your informational site, to have to have a niche. Um, you don't want to create a website that's just this giant general informational site about anything and everything. 
Because if your site is about anything and everything, you won't be good at any one thing. Um, and, and nobody's going to use your site, really, because you're not really a credible source, right? You want to get good at whatever your niche is. Um, okay, so that's a niche. It's a, it's a specific area of focus. Uh, why, do we, why do we choose a niche? Okay, what, what's, what's the purpose of choosing a niche? Oh, and I like that too, Catherine. Being a niche is a, it's a specialist and not a jack of all trades. Exactly. Your site's specialty, like you said, Kim. I like that too. It'd be like it'd be like a site that's on just a very specific topic. Like, for example, you see my example down there, financialnut.com. Looking at that domain, you know exactly what the site's about. It's about something having to do with finances, right? That's my niche. Although finance as a whole, that's not really a, I mean, it's a niche, but it's not, it's, it's not a very specific niche because finance can encompass a whole lot, right? Stocks and bonds and personal finance and retirement investing and whatever, right? You name it, budgeting, whatever. But it is a niche because it just focuses on that area. Um, another, another example, which is the one we're going to do tonight is called and I don't know how to pronounce this exactly. I think it's Albion, um, albionstrawberry.com, which is what we're going to do tonight. That is that is a domain name I registered literally three or four hours ago, and it's what we're going to use as this example, okay? Um, but why do we choose one? Let's talk about that for a second. Why not create an informational site that covers like a little bit about pets, a little bit about finance, a little bit about gardening, uh, a little bit about fashion. Why not? Why not create this giant site that covers a little bit of everything? Right? There's no rules here. Why don't we create a site like that? Then we'd be able to advertise all sorts of different things, right? What would be the drawback of doing it that way? Yeah, people search for specific things. That's true, Mark. Judy says helps people to get to know uh, specifically what you're about. Carol Carol says TMI. I like that. It's too much. Takes too much time to get quality traffic, says Rob. Too much competition, no focus. Absolutely, no focus. It's going to confuse people that are coming. It's like if you're really looking for something specific and you're looking to learn something about it, you know, you're not going to find a lot of credibility in a website that is sort of like a jack of all trades, right? Where they where they dabble in a little bit of everything, but they're not really good at any one thing. If this niche type of website is going to be successful, you want to be um, sort of like an expert. You you don't have to be an expert getting into it, but you want to be a site that's got a lot of credibility, that knows a lot about its topic, um, that specializes in it, so that people will come and actually trust the information they're given. And therefore, you'll you'll generate people linking to you. If you if you're providing really good quality content, your search engine rankings will go up. It's just really really difficult for a website, especially being a small business like us, to create some sort of giant website that covers all top all topics and expect to make any money off of it. You 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 go you go to college um, for business, and they'll tell you if you're going to start a business, you need to specialize in something. You're not going to you're not going to start a retail store that sells computers, pet supplies, and furniture. You just can't become good at all three of those. It's too hard. There's the rare exception when you have a discount store like a Walmart or a Target, but we're not trying to recreate something like that. We're trying to be very specialized. So you need to choose a niche. And I promise you if you don't and you try to do this without one, it's, it's going to become virtually impossible to succeed. So make sure you choose one, okay? Oh, and I like that too. Catherine said more relevance of ease for Google to drive ads to your site. Yeah, Google is going to be producing ads on your website based on your content. It could be a little tougher if there's content all across the board, all across your site, right? Um, this example, does anybody know what a, an Albion strawberry is? You gardeners out there.
It's what we planted this year. This is our this is our first year in in my garden. We have we have a pretty good sized garden, my wife and I in our backyard. And um we at a at a nursery locally, they recommended this specific type of strawberry. It's only been around since like 1996. It was developed out in at, at the University of California. Apparently, they have a a pretty good, um, I guess, agricultural department. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but they they have a department out there that does a lot of work in in modifying different types of fruits and vegetables to produce, you know, to create ones that are are better producers, et cetera. And and this is one that was created. Um, they're not white though, Carol. They're not white. They're just they're they're uh, sort of like an ever bearing variety where they where they have uh, where they sort of make strawberries all year long so some strawberry plants will create strawberries all at one time like boom comes june and and all your strawberries are in you pick a huge harvest and then you're done these are kind of an interesting variety because they create strawberries anywhere from um, may all the way into october and and it's been a lot of fun we've really liked it so that's what an albion strawberry is and that oddly enough is going to be our niche for this website now this would be defined more as a micro niche okay because really we could have done a website um, about strawberries in general or even about gardening in general and had all sorts of different types of information or maybe our niche could have been just gardening in the state of Utah where I live but oddly enough I found this domain, albionstrawberry.com was was available, and I was shocked when I saw it. I snatched it up. I'm going to make that my micro niche. This site's going to be about and only about these Albion strawberry varieties, and, uh, and, and that's it. And we're going to become, over time, the source on the Internet for anything about those types of strawberries. In fact, because they're so popular now, they're they're uh, they're searched for pretty heavily online, and and it looks like it's going to be pretty easy generally to rank for it. So that's that's going to be our micro niche. Okay, now you got to be careful. If you pick a micro niche, you got to pick something that still has a lot of opportunity to create content, and and we feel pretty confident that there's there's plenty of content to be created here, and therefore plenty of opportunity for um, for Google Ads. Okay, so that's that's going to be what we do. I know, sounds crazy, right? Robin and Robert are like, what are you talking about? A strawberry from Utah? Strawberries are from California. In fact, I read a stat about it. It's like 87% of all strawberries produced in North America come from the great state of California. But believe it or not, we can grow them out here in Utah too. All right. So that's going to be our example tonight. Now, last but not least, how to choose a niche. Guys, you want to choose something you're interested in. Um, we, we have a lot of fun with gardening. My wife and I do a lot of it. This, my, my, my family loves strawberries. I, I have an interest anyway, just in, in plants and gardening in general. So this is easy for me. I'm, I'm going to enjoy researching it. I'm going to enjoy writing about it. Um, I can even produce my own content on it because guess what? I have a whole, um, strawberry patch outside now, right? So this is going to be easy for me, and and I prefer you guys when you choose a niche, um, to to choose a niche that that really comes easy to you. Okay, don't choose it based on you thinking that you're going to make the most money off of a given topic. I guess based on my research, if you're going to just choose a topic that that's going to make you the most money in AdSense, it said that AdSense ads produce or, or pay out more in the health industry than anything else. But if you're not interested in health, wellness, exercise, nutrition, don't do a website on it. Not unless you're willing to learn about it and research it. See, I'm no expert right now on these types of strawberries, right? All I know is that I like to pick them up and eat them and they're kind of fun to plant, right? Like that's, that's really the extent of what I know about this specific kind of strawberry. But I'm excited to learn about it, and I know there's a ton of information out there. It's going to be easy for me to create content, okay? I don't know how the ad payouts are going to be on this, but you know what? Based on what you guys are going to learn here in just a minute, it's not going to be hard for me to test, and, and you guys can do the same thing, okay? Questions about the niche part of it, guys, or does that make sense? And by the way, if you're struggling on your niche, talk to your coach about it. You know, we've we've helped people choose niches, for years and years and years, right? We know kind of 
good niches versus bad ones, um, you know, we can give you some pretty candid advice. And if there's something that we don't think is going to work, uh, we'll tell you. And yeah, Cheryl, I actually thought about that too. You could, on this website, that's all about this specific type of strawberry. We, we definitely will add in recipes, stuff you can do with your strawberries, how to grow them, tips on growing them, right? The, the right types of conditions, the right zones to grow them in. Um, and you better believe I'm going to get, I'm going to set up some affiliate uh, partnerships with some of these companies that sell their seeds and sell the plants. Um, Cause there's a, there's a lot of companies out there that have affiliate uh, affiliate opportunities in a situation like that. So I'll sell this strawberry hard on my, on my side. I'll talk about how great it is. It's drawbacks, but it's, but the things that it does well, and then I'll, I'll put in a link that says, hey, if you want to buy some, click here, and, and I'll make money off of it, right? Because those opportunities are out there. And that's what's cool about affiliate marketing in general, guys. Those types of opportunities are out there for virtually any niche, which is why I say do what you love. Get involved in a website that's going to fuel you, not just because you're making money, but because you have fun with it, okay? Okay. We good on niches for a minute here? If you don't have a niche in mind, um, get thinking about it. But if you do, we're gonna put, we're gonna push forward here anyway. Okay, here's your next step. Okay, if you've ratified your niche with your coach and you're excited about it, you're ready to make it happen. It's time to set up a WordPress site via some type of hosting provider. Okay, first question for you guys, um, those of you guys who are here live with me, what what is hosting? What does that what does that mean? If you're gonna if you're gonna pay for hosting or have hosting. We haven't really talked much about hosting in our in or at least at least a definition of hosting in our presentation. Yeah, Mark, it's it's to carry your website online, right? Yeah, it's a company. Okay, so I'm seeing some good definitions here. Servers, right, Judy? Makes you, makes your website live on the internet. Yeah, good definitions. A lot of you. I mean, this is all true. Hosting is basically it's it's a fee that you pay to someone who owns servers that can hook up to the World Wide Web, right? The whole internet is just a bunch of computers hooked together. And if you're gonna have a website that's gonna show up on the internet, your, your website and all the files there are gonna take up space. So you need to pay for that space, and, and that's why you need hosting. Every website on the internet has some sort of a host. Now you hear about places that do hosting for free, but not no no real legitimate affiliate site, especially like the ones that we're going to be creating that are custom done and really well done. They're all gonna they're all gonna need hosting. So you have to have hosting to have a website show on the inter in, on the internet. Period. Okay. So we're gonna need a host. In far as far as number two goes, who does the hosting? Well, there's a lot of companies that do hosting. Um, you may have you may have heard of GoDaddy. They do hosting. Uh, Bluehost is a big hosting company. HostGator is a big hosting company. The one that I use, I'll share with you here in just a minute, is a big hosting company. There's lots of companies that do hosting. There are a dime a dozen. Some are just better than others. And I'll recommend the one that I like to use. But the cool thing is they're all cheap. Um, and they're all roughly, you know, they really are. They're all roughly the same in price. They really are. So you can you can get hosting pretty inexpensively for a, for an informational site. Now, if you were doing an e-commerce site with a with a shopping cart and e-commerce features, your hosting is much more expensive. For those of you guys that are using Volusion, your hosting later ends up being about 40 bucks a month. And that's that's uh it's not high at all because anybody who's got e-commerce hosting is going to be paying about that about that rate. But if you've got an informational website, you should be paying substantially less. And that's what I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, and then what hosting company should I use? I'll share with that with you here in just a sec. Um, okay, well, I'll just I'll just tell you. So I use a company called uh, One and One. 
okay? One, like the like the number one and one. I'll show it to you here in just a second. So numeral one and numeral one dot com, one and one dot com. And there's a couple of options. I, I've actually used them for a long, long time. Um, about the time I started getting into doing some coaching, they were one of my they were one of my very first uh, providers of hosting. And I'd heard some good things about them, not knowing a whole lot about hosting. Signed up with them. And, and they've been solid. I don't think all but maybe one time in the past eight, nine years, my website's ever been down because of their servers. It's just really good and consistent. So one and one is who I use. Um, whoops. Hold on. Got a little ahead of myself. There's two options, though, that I'm that I'm going to I'm going to recommend here. OK. Um, it both are cheap. But but let me tell you about the two types of hosting packages you should you guys should get. Both come with a free domain. And if any of you guys have ever registered a domain, you know that a, a domain usually costs about 15 bucks or so, sometimes more than that per year, depending on what kind of features you get on it. Um, sometimes substantially more than that, right? But both of these come with a free domain, so that's cool. You'll be able to register one like me, AlbionStrawberry.com for free. That doesn't cost you anything. The best option, which is called the the WP Unlimited Plus plan, is uh, $4.99 per month for the first year, and then um, the second year they charge you $9.99 a month, and that's it. That'll be your cost. I think there's a domain name renewal fee as well. I want to say that's going to be like 15 bucks or something once a year. But in other words, you're you're paying five bucks a month for your first year with no cost on your domain, and then ten bucks a month on your second year. The only way you can get that is you got to pay it up front. So your first year, you know, you've got to pay five dollars times twelve. It'll be sixty plus whatever fees and tax they have, and that that'll ensure um, your hosting for the first year on on the WP Unlimited Plus. So these are these are yearly. Um, fees, okay, but it averages out to being four ninety nine a month, pretty dang cheap, right? And and that's it, like that's your, those are your only maintenance fees. Now, why do we do the WP Unlimited, which is a little more expensive than the, um, or the, I'm sorry, the WP Unlimited Plus? It's more expensive than just the WP Unlimited. Well, the Plus has um, has unlimited websites, so you can actually have three, four, five, six WordPress sites going at once. And it doesn't cost you any more um, hosting, which is awesome, right? So all of my all of my WordPress sites that I have, I don't have to. If I've got six WordPress sites, I'm not paying six times five dollars a month or ten dollars a month. I just pay I just pay it all. You get unlimited sites, which is which is a pretty sweet deal. Um, you get you get more RAM. You get a you get CDN access, and I won't go into the the technicalities of that. Other than it makes your your websites load faster whether you're accessing it in the UK or somebody's out in Australia getting into it or somebody right here in America, um, the, the load times are really short, which you want because Google takes that into consideration. So if I were you guys, and, I, and, and really, you're talking five bucks a month, so I, I'm seriously, get, get the WP Unlimited Plus. That's my recommendation. For these extra features, that's what I'd get. Um, you, you can't miss that way. But if you're if you're on a really really tight budget and you don't feel like you could pay that up front, which ends up being whatever 60, 70 bucks, um, go with the go with this second plan right here. You get a free domain. It ends up being 99 cents a month. Um, so you're paying what 12 bucks for the year right up front, and then your second year it ends up being seven bucks a month. Okay. Um, why why would you use number two versus number one? Well, if you have if you have a blog that doesn't have much content on it, it's it's more of a personal blog. Uh, it, it's not as business oriented. It's not affiliate kind of an affiliate type blog like we're trying to create. This one's okay. The load times are a little bit slower. So I I mean it, it would work starting out if you're really on a tight budget. So you could definitely do that. But my advice is is um, the plus. Okay. That's about that's about what you're looking from a price standpoint. Do you guys have questions about either one of these two?
I'm going to move on here, but if you do, let me know. Okay? I can go back to this if we need to. Pretty, It's pretty clear cut, though, right? Okay. But don't, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, while you're getting your hosting, you're actually going to get your domain name at the same time. Um, actually, before I do this, Barbara, let me answer your question, because that's a good question. That was a little ambiguous. So number two, it says more for tiny blogs. So when I say a tiny blog, it's going to be a blog that doesn't have a lot of content at all. So if you're creating a blog and you don't anticipate you're going to have a lot of articles on it, it's it's again, it's maybe more of a hobby type thing as opposed to a, a business you're going to be doing long term, um, then then you would use that. That that's more what we mean about a tiny blog. Um, I'll show you here and again. The company is called One and One. So one and then spelled out the numeral one and then a n d and then one dot com. Okay. All right, so let's talk about your name because when you get your hosting, you also need to get your domain name at the same time. So just some general advice. Uh, shorter is better. If, if you can get a short domain name but still have it be relevant, that's going to be best. There's nothing worse than a really long domain name that's hard to spell, okay? Uh, you want it to be relevant, like we just said. When, when you read the domain name, like financialnut or albionstrawberry.com, you know what the, the site's about, so it should be relevant to what you're doing. You want to try to make it catchy if you can. Um, I forgot to insert this, but you don't necessarily need keywords. A lot of us get caught up in the idea that we need keywords in our domain name that, that affects our, our Google rankings. It really doesn't, not nearly as much as you'd think. We'd rather have a, a domain name that just is, is relevant and catchy and, you know what I mean, that's more important than stuffing it full of keywords, okay? So no hyphens. We only want a .com. I know there's some really cool new endings that are coming out. You can, you can buy a domain that's .vegas or .blog um, or dot, There's all sorts of, like, new endings. We want to just keep with a .com. No .net, no .biz, no .info. .com is what you want because that's what everybody thinks about anyway, okay? Um... And then when you're trying to choose one, I get a lot of clients that are like, oh, I can't choose one. They're all taken. When I, when I look them up, I can't find a good one. That's why number six is important. I, I say use a noun, okay? Sometimes the best domains are right under your nose. And here's what I mean. Let's say your niche, looking at, looking at A there, let's say your niche is kitchen products, okay? Use a noun. And in this case, we, we called it a red apple. That's our noun and we paired it with our niche, which is kitchen, we called our website redapplekitchen.com. Wasn't taken, it was ended up being a good domain. Or this one right here, my niche is finance, I paired it with a noun, which is a nut, financialnut.com, there's my domain. Um, this one I just came up with as I was putting this together, pets. Pet supply might be your niche. Um, use something related to pets as your noun, whiskers or whisker, and we say whisker pets or whiskerspets.com, or petsupplies.com, okay? Some sort of a noun usually makes it to where it's easier to, to come up with a good domain that still sounds catchy, it's brandable. Um, certainly, we don't expect you to choose a domain name on your own, so if you want to work with your coach on that, they can give you some advice and give you some help. But let's make sure we choose a good catchy one. You don't, you don't actually want your domain name to be like your LLC name or anything, because... That's not how customers are going to know you. That's how the IRS will know you and maybe your vendors will know you. But customers want to know you by some sort of fun, catchy, maybe lighthearted domain name depending on your niche. Okay? Questions about domain? Sorry, I've got to kind of speed through this because we've got other stuff we've got to get to. I'll, I'll probably do another webinar at some point on just specifically domain names. But for right now, I wanted to cover some of the high points. Are you guys good on that or does, or does that make sense? Follow up with any questions. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip over to our next slide here. Most of you guys seem like you're okay with it. All right, so if you're going to use one and one I've got somebody you need to talk to about it. Um, they're not going to try to sell you anything, so you don't have to worry about that. My contact at one and one I figured I would just give you the guy that I work through. 
It's the guy. This is the guy that's that's my direct contact there. His name's Bob Snyder, and I got permission from him today. I just asked him. I said, Bob, you know, can I can I give my clients your direct information, and let you just set up their their uh, hosting account? Because I know a lot of you guys that I've done hosting with before, it's it's a little intimidating because it's like speaking another language. So Bob said that's fine. There's his direct number. It's 877-461-2631. When you call him, give him your name. Obviously, tell him that you know me, and he'll get you set up on one of those one of those one of those packages I was sharing with you a minute ago. Okay, Bob Snyder. He's also got his email right there. Robert dot Snyder at one and one dot com. I yeah, I sure can. In fact, let me uh I'll send this out to you guys right now in the chat box. Good suggestion. Here's his number. He let me check the email I got from him earlier because I was asking him kind of roughly when is he available and he said kind of normal business hours. So um, if you wanted to call him tomorrow, he'll be in. He's in usually from 10 to 5.30 in the afternoon Eastern time, Monday through Friday. Okay. So write that down. 10 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So 877-461-2631, Bob Snyder. And then I'll put in his email, robert.snyder at com. Okay, I'm going to send this to all of you guys. Um, Alan, you can switch hosting providers. Uh, yours, I don't think I would with yours, truthfully. Um, I would wait for your contract to end because you can switch your website out at the end of your contract anyway over to a different host if you want to. If you break, you can break the contract, um, but I don't think I would, especially in your case, because I think you guys are set up with a decent host. Okay, did you guys all get that number in email? I sent it out in the chat box. You guys should have gotten that. Again, this I, you can do it online, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Um, but it's probably easier if you just do it w with him. But remember, going back to what we talked about just a minute ago, get this one right here. Whoops. Get your WordPress Unlimited Plus, WP Unlimited Plus. Okay. And if you're if you're really feeling tight financially get WP unlimited for the for the 12 bucks for the year or whatever, okay? We just want you to start. I suppose you can probably always upgrade, but it it would make sense to start out on the better plan. All right. Now, I'm going to send you guys out this link that's here. If you want to just if you don't want to wait on chatting with Bob and having him do it for you, you're kind of anxious just to do it right now. Let me let me send out this link to all of you guys right now. Hold on just a sec, because I, I want to copy and paste this in. Apparently, these uh, these packages are set up directly for our clients, so you're you're going to want to go through this link. Here you go. I'm going to send it to all of you guys. There we go. You guys should all get that. One on one dot com forward slash question mark KWK equals and then it's got this number 19 12 94 27 I just I just messaged did you guys all get that link that I just sent Yeah sorry if I don't know I I keep messing up on your name I'm sure Breaky I you you probably not yet this is this stuff that we're talking about tonight is probably a couple months down the line so I'd probably wait on it, truthfully. Um, if you're just in your second week, wait, and, and then talk to your coach, okay? Okay, most of you guys got it. Virginia, if you didn't get it, I can get it to you later. But seriously, I would recommend just talking to Bob because he knows you guys are going to be talking to him. He'll just set you up on that on that plan when you call, okay? All right. 
So um, if you go through the link, I'm going to show you what to do right now, okay? I'm going to open up the link, and it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. When you get to this page, you're going to come right up here to web hosting, and then you're going to select this one right here. Do you guys all see that? Under web hosting, there's something called WordPress hosting, okay? So click that link that I sent to all of you guys, web hosting, and then WordPress hosting. Everybody following me okay? We'll click on that link. I'll show you what this page looks like. Scroll down right here, and you, and you see three different options. You have to scroll down. It'll look like this at the top. Scroll down. You'll see WP Unlimited, WP Unlimited, Unlimited Plus. Geez, that's a mouthful. And then WP Unlimited Pro. Pro is a little more than you're ever going to need. Go with this Unlimited Plus, okay? Now, if you click Try Now, which I'm going to click on and show you what happens, it'll, it'll take you to this page right here, and it'll say you get your free domain. So you're thinking, okay, well, I'm doing this site on pet supplies. It's going to be an informational site about pets. I want to do um, whiskerspetsupply.com. Okay, you can type in your, your domain idea, no www, just whiskerspetsupply.com, and I'm going to hit check. And, and what, what they're going to do is they're going to look up the domains and see if they're available. If it's available, it'll let you register. It'll say it is available and that you can get it. If it's not, it'll, it'll tell you it isn't, okay? If I wanted to get this, it's already selected. I can hit continue right here. Let me show you what it would look like if it's not available. Let's put in pets.com. We know for sure that's not available, right? I'm going to check it, pretending like I think it is. And it's going to say in reds, we're sorry, pets.com is taken. And I can type in another idea, okay? This is, this is searching the database of domains out there, guys. So um, this is going to tell you what is good and what is not good. We want whiskerspetsupply.com. That sounds a little e-commerce based. Let's do whiskerspettips.com. See if that's available. That sounds like a little more of an informational site, right? All right. Um, good news, your domain is available. Got it. I want it. So I'm going to hit continue right here. One and one is going to try to upsell you a bunch of extra domains like let's get the .co.info.net.org. Guys, you don't need it. Save your money. Just get the just get the .com. So we'll hit no thanks right here down at the bottom. No thanks. Continue without selection. Okay, and then here it's going to show you your checkout. Now it's going to be for the for the WP um, Plus. It looks like it ends up being sixty bucks, right? That shouldn't surprise us because it's five bucks a month for twelve months up front. That's what you're going to want to go with. If I hit continue right here, the domain name's not costing me anything. That's free. Then it's going to say, okay, if you're already a one-on-one -on -one customer, sign in. If you're a new customer, create an account. You're going to want to create your account and then finish. You'll, you'll pay, and then you'll finish, and you'll be done, okay? Let me show you guys what it looks like when you're done. I'm going to log into my account really fast here. When you're done, when you get into your, your home screen uh, within WordPress, or I'm sorry, within uh, one and one Um, cancel. Okay. You're going to see, it's going to look like this. Okay. This is your home control panel within one and one. This is, the, that's the jargon. It's your control panel. That's where you are. Okay. If, so we're set, we've got our domain. We want to go ahead and install it to WordPress. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to come right down here to what's called, uh, manage domains. Okay, and this will show me all the domains that I've got registered. 
I just want to show you this section first. If you end up registering several domains and you create several sites within your same hosting account, um, this is what it'll show. So it's showing my domains here, Mockingjay Pen Store, Refine America, Bluebird Finance, Trevorship.com, Albion Strawberry. Here's my new one right here that I just created, okay? So that's where you manage your domains. It just shows you a list of your domains. If we go back to where we were just a second ago, let's go back to our home screen. Up here at the top, here's your navigation. I'm gonna click on home. Let's come down here to hosting, and we're going to click on WordPress, okay? So I'm going to come down here, hosting, and then WordPress. You guys all following me okay? By the way, Kathy, I saw your, your question. I'll, I'll respond to that here in just a second. Okay, so we're setting up WordPress now. WordPress doesn't cost anything, guys. It's a free... Uh, open platform anybody can use it you just have to have hosting which now we have right website title I'm gonna call this my domain name I'm just gonna call it all being strawberry this we can change later I'm gonna hit create website that blue button right there and again guys if I'm going a little fast remember this is gonna be recorded we're gonna toss it up onto YouTube so you guys can catch it later okay um, now I've got to create a login to my, my new website that I'm just creating. So administrator's login. I'm going to just type in admin if it lets me. It's not going to let me. Maybe I'll just put in my name here. But this is just like a username that I'm creating. So create your username and write it down. Don't forget it because this is how you're going to log into your site. Okay. So there's my username. My password, I'm obviously not going to share with you guys. See if that'll work. Okay, put in your password. Um, type of installation, always choose safe mode. Interface language, it's got, you know, if you want to, I guess if you speak a different language, you can choose one, but English we're going to choose here. I've read the terms and I'm going to hit install. Okay, it's going to load here for just a second. It's actually pretty quick to create this. This is installing all those WordPress files onto my host. We just talked about how we purchased hosting. Well, that little that little cut of cyberspace that we just purchased, uh, we're we're putting it into uh, we're putting our WordPress site into that little piece of space. Um, I don't believe you can, Catherine. You have to choose one language. Okay, so it's ready, it says. Um, get the little smiley face right here. Application is ready to use. I can hit edit website. I can go out to the website right now. Um, here's my admin area. I'm gonna click on, um, I guess I'll just click on website here and, and it'll it should take me out there. And there we are. It just took me to my website. now. When you first get set up with it, it's going to look pretty plain and pretty awful. We obviously have a lot of work to do to design this to make it look awesome, but that's what we're going to be talking about in the coming weeks. If I want to log into my administrative section, um, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on log in under this meta section right here, okay? Log in. And it's going to want a username and password, right? Well, I'm going to put in my username, which I set up earlier, you guys should recognize that. I'm gonna put in my password and with a little luck here, um, I'm hoping we get logged in and sure enough, there we do. We're now logged into the, the back end of the site. This is kind of the administrative section of the site, okay? I'm not gonna teach you this, this tonight, guys, because A, we don't have time and B, this is gonna be a great topic for um, our next meeting when we get back together on Thursday. Bottom line though is this is where you do all your editing. This is where you create content, posts, pages. You add pictures to your site here. If I wanna come out and see what my site looks like, I can come up here on Albion Strawberry and hit visit site. And it'll, it'll bring me here and I can see the work that I've done. I can choose different templates and themes. Um, I thought I'd just show you real quick. If I come back here to the dashboard, 
Um, there is a section for appearance right here, and then you can select themes. And you can actually choose kind of a, a template for your website to, to, to have right now. So I, I've got such a plain look, I wanna go in and choose a template. Um, I can click add new and I can go searching for a new theme and a new template. Again, this is gonna be what we get into next time. There's some really cool templates. Um, you'll have to search through and see what you like. Some cost money. Most of these shouldn't cost anything at all. They should be free. Just do a free template. Uh, again, we'll go into that later. The important thing is that you can get to this point, and, and we're official, like we're, we're into my site at this point, okay? If I come back here to where I am in my control panel, um, I guess you can uninstall the site if you wanted to get rid of it. Uh, you can change your domain name. If I want to edit my website, I can click on this blue blue link and it'll take me right into my dashboard. Anyway, does that make sense, guys? That We just did it. We just installed WordPress um, and we're ready to go. We can start customizing this thing now, okay? Make sense? Questions, concerns about that or you guys feel good about that? Feel like you can you can follow my advice and do that. I'm assuming yes. Click the change domain section here. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I might want to change the domain here because right now it's on sort of like an apps domain. Let me see if this worked because I'll have all of you guys do this. Super easy, right? Like you guys never probably thought it would be this easy to just get a get a website created on WordPress. I think it's ready. Let me see if that worked. Yes. Okay, so you guys all need to do that. When you get to this screen, make sure to change your domain to your new one that you registered. And and then it'll and then it'll be ready to go. So now if I hop online and I go to albionstrawberry.com, I'm assuming my WordPress site is not going to come up yet and that's because it's still connecting so it won't come it won't come up uh right the second i guess it takes probably a day or so to actually connect within the system um but uh it looks like generally speaking it'll be it'll be ready to go within a day or so okay all right so uh let's see if you guys have any questions that i have missed um Uh, yeah, so Kathy was saying earlier, she's like, I've tried WordPress before and it was super hard to deal with, uh, struggled with it, ended up setting my, my website up on a different software. Um, it, it is hard if you don't have good direction. I remember the first time I did WordPress, guys, I was so thoroughly confused. I, I, I didn't have any training. I, I just had to go out online and read tutorials and spend time in forums. This was years ago when WordPress was still relatively new. Um, it's gotten it's gotten easier. And with our training program, we can obviously teach you a lot better on on how to do it. Um, I believe the plus just gives you one free domain, Catherine, but you can do multiple sites on on the platform. So like you get one of your one of your domains is free, but if you want to register a new domain, I think that'll cost a little bit. It'll cost 14 or 15 bucks. Um might be less because I registered this today and it was like 9 bucks. But but I can connect that to my same host. So my same hosting account that's going to cost me 4.99 a month. I can have as many domains and WordPress sites on as I want, which is pretty dang cool because if you do this on a larger scale and you have lots of niche and micro niche websites, um, you know, you, it's cheap. I mean, there's, there's, there's no cheaper hosting out there. It's awesome. Good. I'm glad that, I'm glad that clarified. Um, let me log in to my site just one more time. Again, guys, if you need help with this part, like actually installing your WordPress, uh, let me know because I, I can either I can either get you set up with one of their people at one and one who can walk you through it, or or one of us can can help you do it because it's not hard as long as we can get into your account. So let me know, okay? And I changed my mind on what I told you earlier. Don't change your domain. I'd probably wait a day because otherwise it doesn't look like you can do a ton of editing on your site. So maybe wait a day or so and then switch switch your domain at that point, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, so 
I'll leave you with this, guys, and then I'll open it up for questions. If you guys are ready to, you got your niche ready, you've got a domain in mind, if you want to bounce that off me or your coach, that's fine. But if you're ready to go on this, it's not expensive. You might as well start. And generally, with my clients, what I've been advising these days is while, while you're working on your eBay business and on your e-commerce e business, uh, you might as well get one of these started too. This could be your ticket. It's it's interesting. As, as you work in our program, some clients kill it on eBay, and that's where they make the majority of their money. Other clients kill it on their e-commerce dropship site. Others, just the, the affiliate marketing is a slam dunk. Just uh, It just depends. I mean, it, that's why we teach all of it to you guys, and, and hopefully one of these or multiple of these end up doing real well for you. So sure, Michelle, if, if you'd like to, I say hop on and do it. Um, you have to change the domain name, Mark, because um, initially it, it, like you have, it'll it'll go on your domain, but it 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 goes on like a temporary one and one host. And I know it sounds confusing, but the bottom line is, I think your domain, if you just freshly register it and connect it to WordPress, isn't quite ready within that day. Um, I've got to get some clarification on that because I don't know the time frame, but you you do eventually want to switch it over to your new domain name so that when somebody goes to your .com, it actually shows up. Right now, that wouldn't be the case until you switch it. Um, do you have your articles written before setting it up? No, you can if you want, but I would advise you to set up your website because this is going to be kind of the order of operations. You, you set up your site, your domain, your niche. You get it all ready to go. You do what we did tonight. You work on kind of designing it like we're going to teach you guys how to do next week. And then, um, and then you start writing content for it to post on the site. If if you want to start writing some content before you do this, you can. But I, I usually write my content with my site. That's what I would usually do, Margo. Cindy says, I think I'll check out some blogs to see if that helps me pick up or, or pick my niche. That's fine. Sure. Just remember what we said earlier. Uh, do what you love. Okay. Do what you love. And again, if you would rather wait to set up your hosting with uh, with with Bob, uh, call him. You guys have his information. Otherwise, you can follow that link that I sent to all of you guys, and uh, you can set it up as soon as you're ready. And this is the blog. Yeah, this is the blog that we've been talking about setting up. Sounds good, Catherine. I'll, I'll look forward to your email. Um, guys, any other general questions about what we just did tonight? Or, or ho hopefully this is making sense to all of you guys. Let me see if my domain's ready yet. Nope, not yet. It says this domain has been registered. Why is this page not displayed? Um, yeah. Anyway, I think it just takes. It probably just takes a few hours. But I still think you can get into the admin. I've switched my domain, right? So I, I could probably change it back. Let me go to change domain. No, it doesn't let me change it back to the old one. I can still go to my admin area by clicking this. And by the way, to, all, to get into your admin, it's always going to be this. It's going to be your domain name, .com, so albionstrawberry.com, slash wp-admin. See that up there? I know that's probably kind of small. But albionstrawberry.com slash WP dash admin. Um, when you do it, it'll take you to your admin screen so you can log into your back end on the site. Okay. Judy, it's easy to put pictures on your on your site. Super easy. I'll show you guys how to do that next week. Um, if if it's a free image that you find online, I can show you how to download it and put it up onto your onto your new uh, AdSense affiliate site. Super easy. Um, no, really, Michelle. Before before you set up with with Bob or just do it online, like I showed you through the link tonight. Um, just make sure you know what your domain name is, right? If you want to run that by me or you want to work with your coach on that, great, do it. Um, but if you know your niche, you know your domain name, then yes, this is the first step. You've got to get this set up.
Oh, Gail, glad you made it. You made it just here at the at the last piece. We're just about finished up. Yeah, you can, Catherine. You can use Pixlr to create your own images. I, I, I'm excited for next week because I'm going to show you my thought process in designing this thing. I'll, I'll just I'll design it kind of how you guys should design it, or at least show you my thought process, and and uh, that way you can see how I would go through creating this thing. My goal is that you guys like you guys can do this yourself and then replicate it and create as many websites as you want off of it, which would be a sweet skill because then you could scale this up and have four, five, six websites going at once all on the same hosting account that's costing you hardly anything, right? And you can have ads on all of them. So it's 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 a pretty cool setup. Yeah, so let me talk about the domain name change one more time because that's I'm getting a lot of questions about that, Cheryl. So initially when you set this up, you set up you you register your domain, you set up your WordPress. Because it's all just barely been done, I think it takes a little bit of time to process and so rather than uh waiting to give you access, they set up your WordPress on this temporary host that you can start building and developing. And then as soon as you're ready, you can hit change domain and it'll actually change it over to your registered domain. In this case, albionstrawberry.com, which should show up anytime. I'm, I'm just assuming it's not because, you know, we just barely registered it. So it's just, I, it's just because everything's so fresh and it's all being installed on those servers, I think it just takes a few minutes. Free images, Rob, we will go over that for sure. In fact, if you want to message me about that a little bit later so I don't forget, I've got a pretty cool resource on that. Email me. I'll get it out to you for sure. Oh, yeah, no worries, Gail. I'm going to post this up onto YouTube so you can catch it recorded. I'll post it hopefully later on tonight. Good, Connie, I'm excited for you. Good. Guys, so is this helpful? You guys that are ready to go on this AdSense business we've been talking about for the last few weeks? You guys, you guys feel like you can do this and get it started? Easy, right? Not too hard? If I'm working with you directly, um, email me if you've got any problems. If, if you have any other challenges um, and you're not working with me, feel free to come back out next Thursday and I can handle some of your questions there. Okay? Okay. Have some fun with this, guys. You, you'll you'll really like it. If 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 you're anything like me, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'll show you my thought process next week on the design for Albion Strawberry, and then I'll start writing content and show you how that works. We'll we'll kind of take you step by step, and then hopefully let you run with it. Okay. Um, how often am I gonna like update the blog or the website? Are you saying, Kim? I'll probably. Well, it depends. I mean. Depends on how tenacious you are. In the past on blogs, I've, I've, there's been times I've created updates every day. On this, because I'm so many, I'm busy with other projects and stuff, I maybe once a week. You know, that's probably pretty good considering my workload. But you guys are different. If if you're gonna make this, you know, your main thing that you do right now, uh, you could do three, four posts a week or whatever, or more. You know, depending on what you want to do. Yeah, check out the first few, Mark. The the 37 and 38, those prereqs to this. This one right here, number 37 and 38. Google AdSense 101 and then AdSense policies and tips. We like you to see those before you even start. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming along. We're going to go ahead and finish it up. We'll see you guys next Thursday, same time, same place, okay? Thanks for coming, guys. See ya.